here. <laughs> you probably clicked this video because you're confused about Lady Gaga's new music video. Or you feel that there's more to it. I am telling you right now, you're not the only one. Hello little monsters, my name is Parishan Berry. In this video, I will be sharing with you some analysis of Lady Gaga's new music video, 911, her third single lifted from her number one album called Chromatica. The 911 music video is not for average Gaga Stan. To understand what this video is really all about, you have to study it, process it, and analyze it. Well, I am not your average Lady Gaga fan. I have been a big Lady Gaga follower since 2008. I'm a follower that respects, values, and analyzes her work and incorporates them into my life whenever it's applicable. Fun fact, we follow each other on Twitter, probably because she knows that I'm a true and certified little monster. All right, without further ado, I've rounded some details that will give you better perspective of this very inspiring music video. The video begins with Gaga lying in the middle of a desert. She's surrounded by blue skies and white sand. It's noticeable that Lady Gaga is fond of opening her music videos lying on the floor, like Million Reasons, GUI, Rain on Me, and this one probably to depict downfall or mental breakdown. Many people observed that the video has blue skies and white sands to set the tone of hallucination. Instead of saying she is hallucinating, I would say that she is dreaming, she is hoping, and she is creating. This is the mental state of an artist trying to turn her struggles into creativity so she can be free from all the pains in the world. Notice the colors in the scene. She is fashioned in red, orange, and pink outfit. That is Gaga's creative depiction of blood in her mind. Because in real life, Gaga's body was involved in a car accident while she was riding her bike. In her imagination, the broken bicycle can also be seen lying next to her. This black horseman that led Lady Gaga out of the desert reappears in an advertisement for New Mexico's White Sands National Park. While she lies on the floor fighting for her life, she looks up to see algae life's good, as if that message is coming from above. Hello sign from above? This might be the next song that will get visual treatment from Gaga. The blindfold symbolizes how Lady Gaga is numbed by all her pain in real life that her mind initially refused to acknowledge. She's also surrounded by pomegranates. In Christian symbolism, this fruit represents the church, unity and faith, and a community of believers. Lady Gaga could be telling us that she found her God again during this suffering. In the same vein, a pomegranate appears in depictions of Mary as the mother of the church. She's the mother monster after all. The pomegranate is the central fruit in Armenian culture and symbolizes fertility and abundance. Speaking of Armenian culture, this music video draws inspiration from the film The Color of Pomegranates. The Color of Pomegranates is a film directed by an Armenian director. It attempted to reveal the poet's life visually and poetically rather than literally. On Instagram, Lady Gaga wrote, This short film is very personal to me. My experience with mental health and the way reality and dreams can interconnect to form heroes within us and all around us. Something that was once my real life every day is now a film, a true story that is now the past and not the present. It's the poetry of pain. This is Lady Gaga telling us that she has successfully survived and she's here to tell her story in the most poetic way possible. Her mind is unbelievable. The red anklet on her left ankle symbolizes injury. When Gaga is revived at the end of the video, she says, a reference to her leg injury that triggered her fibromyalgia. Back in 2013, Gaga canceled the remainder of her Born This Way ball after she broke her hip and became too painful to keep going. The woman who begins singing is actually a bystander on the scene of the accident. This could be a silent jab to some people benefiting from her music, just watching her to die in pain. Or could be a reference to social media. Many times, Lady Gaga stated that the internet has become everyone's public toilet. 
This man who repeatedly hits his head against a red pillow is actually a driver with a head injury. The color red is likely meant to represent blood or an injury. It's possible that this man caused the accident, or Gaga could be referencing the person that caused her emotional trauma. In this scene, Gaga literally puts a small doll inside a bedazzled box, embodying the lyric, Keep my dolls inside diamond boxes. Gaga stated that 911 is about taking antipsychotic medication, a reference to how she clings to this medication, the way a child is inseparable from a cherished toy doll. These two characters that guided Gaga throughout the video are actually the paramedic and the doctor that revived her body in the real world. In Gaga's mind, they float down from the sky using an umbrella. In real life, they arrive in a helicopter. When Gaga ascends to heaven, the doctor holds a mirror, flashing a light into her face. This represents the medical pen light she uses to check real-life Gaga's responses. The paramedic holds Gaga with a rope tied around her injured ankle and pulls her back to the earth. As Gaga falls back to the earth, a split-second time frame shows her waking up in real life. It's very easy to miss the shot, which shows for less than 1 second at the 2 minute 17 second mark. The doctor holds the snake in front of a red cross. In Greek mythology, the snake symbolizes rejuvenation and healing. The snake in red cross reappears the official sign on the doctor's lab coat. Gaga seems to pay respect to all medical practitioners who helped her survive the pain. See that wall? It gives us a crude depiction of the accident that caused pain to Gaga. In the final scene of Gaga's imagination, she has the symbol for Chromatica on her forehead. She's like telling us that Chromatica was conceived in pain. After Lady Gaga was revived, she said, This seems to suggest that she caused the accident in the video. This might be her creative way of fully owning her past, regardless who caused her pain, and she's ready to move on. 911 music video shows how one mind can interpret things when deeply suffering in pain. After watching this video, it reminded me of the movie Life of Pi. How human beings alter the painful real-life events to escape from it at least temporarily. Which one is real? Her imagination or the depicted real-life event? I refuse to answer that question. 911 music video is all real second by second and minute by minute this is the best music video of the year there might be other layers of the video that i missed to cover feel free to sound them off in the comment section below if you like this video please smash the like button and consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching keep your paws up little monsters i'll see you again in my next video goodbye for now